Hi there. For today's maths lesson, we are going to be learning about area. Area means finding out how large the inside of an object is. I'm going to show you how to work this out. Area means to multiply the length by the breadth. If you can remember that, then area is actually very easy. Let's start with a shape. 6 centimetres by 2 centimetres. And because area means multiply the length by the breadth, we need to multiply it. So, 6 times 2 is 12. That means all this area here inside the shape is 12 centimeters squared. When we work with area, we need to put the little two up top to say that it's squared. Okay, so this shape by six by two centimeters, the inside is 12 centimeters squared. Next one. Okay, four meters by three meters. How much is this inside area? Let's multiply it. Four times three is twelve. Twelve what? The M stands for meters. Meters and because we've times the length by the breadth to find the whole inside area of our shape. That means we need to put the small two on top to show that we have squared it. Okay, six centimeters. And I'm gonna give us three centimeters. Okay, remember in maths, people like to see your workings and your thought pattern. So that is why we need to write down to show our workings. Six times three, okay. Six times three is 18. What is it? Centimeters. And don't forget to put the little two up top to show that we have squared off our shape and worked out the inside amount. Let's do some problems together now. So length is five centimeters, breadth is two centimeters. How much is the area going to be? Five times two is 10, it's centimeters, so we need to write that. And because we have times it to work out the area, we need to add the little two on top. So it's 10, centimeters squared. Eight meters by four meters. Eight times four is 32. Our measurement this time is meters, so we put the M to show meters. And again, the little two on top to say that we have squared the inside of the shape, which is our area. 10 centimetres and 3 centimetres. First step, 10 times 3 is 30 centimetres. And a little 2 on top to show that we have squared it to find the area of the inside. 7 metres and 7 metres. 7 and 7 is 49 metres and the little two. Before I give you your own problems to have a go at, can you please give me a thumbs up by clicking the button down there. These are now your set of problems to have a go at. Remember, times the numbers together, add the centimetres or metres, and don't forget the little two which represents the squared area that we have measured. 